All radios to be handed in, curfew. You will respect the Germans, you harm one. If I'm talking as a German, it's not my fault, we have to kill ten civilians. You know the rules, you touch one, we kill ten. Too much resistance activity in an area, you know full well that we will wipe out the nearest village or town. Completely. Okay, if you look at 17th SS and uh, 2nd SS, that's right. Gotts von Berlingen, 17th SS. 17th SS is a Panzer Grenadier Division, so mobile infantry with self propelled guns. 2nd uh, SS, uh, Das Reich, is a Panzer Division, so tanks. It takes 50 trains to pull a tank division. They were on exercise in southern France at the time of D Day. They got the order to move quickly. Um, the quickest way is by train for the Panzers, the others came by road. The Panzers will move at night and hold up during the day to avoid Allied air cover. Um, the French get putting uh, sawdust mixed in with the wrong grease into the hubs of the wagon carts, burning them out so the tanks had to go on the road. Then, uh, not very high ranking but very popular reconnaissance officer was taken by the resistance. That was it, the, res the French had to be taught a lesson, stay out of our way while we go to the front. So the next large village they came to, the reconnaissance guys went in. Remember, it's their officer that's gone. Uh, standard procedure, shot all the men. Herded the women and children into the church. And then the grenades went in. 638 people, Burrador, Sir Glenn. Uh, if you go there now, it is the same as when Das Reich left it 65 years ago. Uh, up to the roof height, then the roofs are missing. But Telephone cables to the houses, electric cables are there. The doctor's car is where he parked it that morning. The bicycles were outside the bread shop. 